Moving on to our next big story, the World Health Organization's efficacy as a global health watchdog has now come under some sharp criticism, and this time from U.S. President Donald Trump. Trump called the WHO a China-centric organization and slammed its initial advisory, asking countries to not close its borders to China. On January 31st, President Donald Trump had placed curbs on travel from China, but at that point, the WHO said that restricting movement of people and goods is ineffective in most cases. The Trump administration is also looking to halt American funding to the WHO. Now, this would be a major blow to the organization, which is largely funded by American money. Donald Trump has promised to put what he calls a very powerful hold on U.S. funding to the WHO. The uh, WHO, that's the World Health Organization, receives vast amounts of money from the United States. And uh, we pay for a majority of biggest portion of their money. And they uh, actually criticized and disagreed with my travel ban at the time I did it. And they were wrong. They've been wrong about a lot of things. And they had a lot of information early, and they didn't want to do very — they seemed to be very China-centric. And uh, we have to look into that. So we're going to look into it. We pay for — we give a majority of the money that they get. And we're going to put a hold on money spent to the WHO. We're going to put a very powerful hold on it, and we're going to see. Every shot wrong, that's no good. The WHO receives funds from two sources, the assessed budget and the voluntary contributions. The U.S. accounts for around 23 percent of the WHO's assessed budget and is by far the largest voluntary contributor. In 2017, the U.S. sent $401 million in voluntary payments, even though it was required to only pay $111 million. But slashing funding to global organization has been, of course, a regular feature in President Donald Trump's White House.